Hey everyone, Tristan back with another video and a few weeks ago the Woo Audio guys put this into my hand and said uh, take this and run with it for a few weeks and let us know what you think. And uh, this is the WA11 Topaz portable headphone amplifier and DAC. And as you can see here, it's a nice, pretty compact package, pretty light. Uh, what they really did with this, or what they tried to set out to do with this, is uh, give you a desktop class performance in a portable setup. And I think they've really accomplished that. Now this is the sort of follow-up to the predecessor, which is the WA8 Eclipse, which was a similar unit um, that came out a few years ago, and I actually reviewed that in my channel. I'll post a link up here for that. Uh, but I did review that on my channel before, and that was a tube amplifier and uh, DAC, portable tube amplifier and DAC, where this is a solid state one. So what they did, what they tried to do is um, make something that was a little bit lighter, a little bit more sleek, something that where the battery would last longer and just a little bit more convenient to take with you. And I think they really did accomplish that with this. The other thing that, that they set out to do is give you sort of desktop class performance in a, uh, you know, portable setup. And, you know, again, I think they did succeed in accomplishing that with the uh, WA11. So yeah, I've been playing around with this and using this for the last uh, few weeks here, and I have to say that I'm really glad that uh, Woo Audio did put this into my hands because I have really been enjoying what I have been hearing out of it. Well, let me go through the sort of fit and finish of it first, and then I'll talk about the sound and performance of it. So as you can see here, it's got an all aluminum sort of chassis. This is all metal right here. And uh, this is the power switch here. and This is the battery um, charge indicator. Then going to one of the side panels, you have USB ports. Now one is your USB charge, the other one is your USB uh, signal. And this is USB-C, so they include two USB-C to USB, um, I guess it's type A cables with this. So you can attach it to, you know, um, either your computer or, um, you know, uh, your iPod or iPhone, uh, etc. And that works really well. Again, this does have a built-in DAC. The DAC is based on an ESS uh, 9018M, I believe, a chipset. Uh, and then also on this panel, you have a balanced headphone in. Uh, this is a 4.4 Pentacon. So if you want to bypass the internal DAC of this and not use the internal DAC, let's say you have your own portable uh, DAP, digital audio player. You can just take balance out of that and get a 4.4 millimeter balance to balance cable and plug into here and then you can bypass uh, you know, the DAC. On this bottom panel here, you can see you've got uh, two switches. One switches it to be from in DAC mode, and another one switches it to be in line, line in mode. And then you also have a high gain and a low gain switch as well on the bottom. And then on the other panel, so we took a look at the you know panel with the USB here. On the other side, opposite that, you have got the volume control here, right here, which is a really nice feeling volume control. It's a high quality volume control as well. And then you've got the two headphone jacks here. The one on the top is a 6.3 millimeter, you know, quarter inch uh, phono headphone stereo jack for your headphones. The one on the bottom is a 4.4 millimeter Pentacon balanced headphone jack. So I really like what they did here because they could have made the top one a 3.5 millimeter, but the 3.5 millimeter jack is very similar in look and size to the 4.4 millimeter you know, balance. So if they did that, there would be a lot of confusion. And I think consumers and customers would maybe sometimes inadvertently plug in to the wrong jack. And that could be very dangerous. If you're plugging in balanced into single ended or vice versa, you could end up blowing up things. <laughs> so blowing up the amp or your headphones. So you don't want to do that. So they were smart here by making this a quarter inch phono jack. Um, you can just plug in your quarter inch headphones right here, or you can use a quarter inch to, you know, mini uh, 3.5 millimeter adapter and go in single end, go out single ended that way. Or if you have a headphone cable that has the Pentacon, the 4.4 millimeter plug, you can uh, plug that right into here. Now, now I have mentioned in my channel before that uh, Woo Audio does also sell a little adapter, and this is it here. It comes in a nice wooden case. And um, this right here is a 4.4 millimeter to uh, four pin uh, XLR balanced uh, adapter. So they sell this separately. So if you want to go balanced and you have a four pin XLR for your headphones, you can get this adapter and that plugs right into here, into the Pentacon. And then you can plug your uh, four pin XLR balance into that. And yeah, of course it does stick out a little bit, but you know, if, it's, if, if this is just sitting on your desk or something like that, it does seem very sturdy and you can 
you know, alleviate having to get a separate headphone cable, um, you know, for this. So that's one option for you. And then on the bottom here, I don't know if you can see in the video, it's a really nice soft Alcantara material. And that is so that you don't uh, scratch up the unit or your desk when you put it down. So you can put lay it down flat like this, you know, on your desk. And you know, the bottom surface is nicely padded and protected. It also comes with a nice Alcantara, or at least it feels like Alcantara, a little pouch here that the unit fits into with little Velcro enclosure. So the unit fits perfectly in here. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it fits perfectly in there, as you can see. And then you can throw this into a bag or briefcase or backpack, and it's completely protected. A really nice touch on that. And again, this is not like a chintzy feeling case or anything like that. It feels really sturdy. Now this retails for about $1,400, $1,399, uh, which is less expensive than the prior model, uh, the Tube version, the uh, WA8 uh, Eclipse. Basically the unit, first of all, is pretty unique in the marketplace currently in that it is a fully balanced uh, topology, so um, you know it's a fully balanced amp inside. And it's also quite powerful, it can output up to 1.2 watts, which is plenty of power to drive even the most hard to drive headphones. So I would say that if you're looking for something portable, but you want to drive hard to drive headphones such as uh, Sennheiser HD800 series or Odyssey LCD4s or uh, many of the high fi man headphones, um, this one is going to be hard to beat because it can drive pretty much uh, almost any headphones you throw at it, even the really hard to drive headphones. Yet at the same time, when you put it into like low gain mode, you can actually run IEMs out of this with uh, you know pretty good for performance as well. So it's very versatile in that respect. And I think the unit works really well for people who want to use their headphones in a uh, secondary location away from their desktop or you know main home stereo system. Maybe you want to use it in a den, maybe you want to use it at work, or maybe you're an audiophile that like commutes for an hour you know, every day on the train or something like that and just wants a good audiophile experience. The WA11 Topaz, I think, will fit the bill really not quite nicely for you especially if you have headphones that are quite hard to drive. Um, I think that's really where this thing excels because it has really plenty of power, especially in balance mode, uh, to drive hard to drive headphones. Now I've listened to this with the headphones that I own, which are actually not too hard to drive, but do benefit from being amplified in balanced mode. So I listened to these, uh, I listened to my Odyssey LCD 4Zs as well as my AudioQuest Nidal Carbons um, with this both in balanced and single ended mode and uh, it sounded really great. Of course, you will benefit uh, from the more power in balanced mode. In single-ended mode, you're not going to get the maximum power out of this. Um, so if you want the maximum power out of this, you probably will want to run it in you know, the balanced mode out of uh, you know, the balanced uh, headphone jack. It's definitely more of a sleek design than the prior tube model. Uh, it doesn't have the sharp edges or as sharp edges. It's not as uh, thick and heavy. It just seems more suited to take with you places and it could even probably fit in a jacket pocket or something like that too quite easily. Um, so it's just definitely a lot more portable. And again, even with really hard to drive headphones, you have plenty of power um, behind it. In terms of the overall sound signature of it, aside from the fact that it's got plenty of power, just the way that it sounds, um, I think Wu Audio has done a pretty good job of tuning it, I think. And you know, it generally has a neutral sound signature. I would classify it as a neutral sound signature. So it's not something that's going to be like overly warm or overly bright. It's just got a very neutral sort of reference quality type sound signature and you could just tell that there's a lot of power behind it as well. But in terms of sort of the overall sound signature of it, um, I would definitely say that it's neutral. Now they, say the bat now they say the internal rechargeable batteries on here last about six hours. So even for like across the country plane flight, it would do quite well. Uh, I have to confess I didn't run the battery all the way down to test that, but I do believe it does run about six hours because I ran it on the battery for uh, definitely a few hours at a time and I didn't hardly see the battery go down that much. So um, it definitely has a nice size battery internally. So if you're looking for a portable desktop class headphone amplifier and DAC that's fully balanced and something that can drive hard to drive headphones very easily you'll definitely want to look at the WA11 Topaz by Woo Audio. I really enjoyed my time with it. The fact that it's uh, so portable yet at the same time can drive really hard to drive headphones in, in fully balanced mode is really quite a selling point for it indeed. So thanks for watching my video. This has been my look of the uh, Woo Audio WA11 Topaz portable headphone amplifier and DAC. It's really a cool design and definitely something that's worth considering if you want to run both fully balanced and also with hard to drive headphones in a nice neat portable package. Questions, comments, or feedback? 
please feel free to leave them. And thanks for watching. I will see you in my next video.